here with TJ Mannix, the host of Blank the Musical. What really is your job? How do you facilitate this? My job is to interact with the audience at the beginning to get them going. They are going to create everything. We're going to get a main musical theme. So uh, if I could get a letter between A and G from you. B. B, great. Uh, can I get another letter from you? C. C. So it's B, C, F, D. We will have chosen from four, but this is the one you chose. Can we hear it? <laughs> B, C, F, D. There you go. There's the main musical theme. <laughs> you, the audience, has chosen for the stairway to hell. really innovative about your show is you're using an app inside of the theater. We believe this is the first time uh, that an app has ever been integrated into a theatrical performance in this way, which allows the audience to build their own musical. Everyone, we will actually encourage them to have their phones out, as opposed to the traditional, please turn your phones off. So at the beginning of the show, people will have their phones out, they'll be interacting with the app, they're going to give us suggestions, they'll immediately appear up on a screen and then audience members will have the opportunity, what's this song going to be? Which title that the audience members came up with are we going to use and incorporate it into the show? And then it's up to our performers and our amazing band and our lighting designers to take it from there and, and build the show around the suggestion. So it's not just the cast and just the band, your technicians are improvising as well. Is that the case? It's been a big learning experience for everybody on this show because this is the first time that you've really had a design built around an improv show in the, to this capacity. So the lighting op, the sound op, even our amazing stage manager, Katie, has had to figure out what does it mean to be a stage manager of an improvised show where there's no cues to call. Uh, she's calling those cues on the fly. It's incredible. Oh, my friends in modern, but I'll try, Pat. <laughs> dancing in a particular choreographer's style together as an ensemble? Yes, that's that's entirely true. Actually, this entire rehearsal process has been amazing. I'm the host, but I'm also, I'm in the ensemble. I'm understudying everybody. So during the course of the rehearsal process, we've had choreographers coming in and working with us. We've had, we've had a number of composers who have come in and, and worked with us as well, working on specific musical styles, working on dance styles. We're doing partner dancing, we're doing Fosse, we're doing I know about hard-boiled egg hands, I know all of these things and all the terminology, so that when the time comes and there's something that's appropriate, we all are coming from the same vocabulary, so we can hit a Charleston number, we can hit something that's a, a frug or something that's very 1970s, because we've all been there, we've all trained together. So who knows where the musical is going to go, but wherever it goes, we're prepared to go there in terms of choreography, in terms of musical style, vocal placement. Uh, it's, it's really been a musical theater master class, this entire rehearsal process. It's been fascinating. That is fascinating, actually. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> you can see Blank the Musical at New World Stages starting November 1st. This is Karen Elliott for StageBuddy.com.